Hey family, um, good morning. So I haven't been on in a month and um, yesterday, or really the past week, um, I'm like, Father, help me to articulate this, please. Please, please, please. Um, there's, it, there's a lot of good stuff that the Lord wants to share with you. And, oh my gosh, he loves you so much. Like we, our minds cannot fathom how much the Lord loves you. Um, but first and foremost, I posted on my community post yesterday um, for Sister Jen. She is in need of financial help. Um, anything would be appreciated. Um, she does start work in the next two weeks, but she, in the meantime, she needs something to get her by. So if um, you can get in touch with her through her email, I'll post it below or, and she does do have the Google Pay. So, um, and I mean, I'm sure if, if you're really, you're like, if you know her, know her, she'll give you her address. You can do like Western Union or Walmart to Walmart or whatever. So, um, get in touch with her if you feel led. And, um, she's been through a lot. We've been through a lot. All of us has been through a lot. We're going through it. And then that brings me to... I have to share this, um, I have to share this. So the other day, I didn't film it, I should have. But I was walking outside and um, ash was falling from the sky. It was like raining ash. Now here in Louisiana, we do have forms to where like um, they'll burn the forms they'll burn the uh, crops, I'm sorry, the fields. <clears throat> um, and oftentimes um, it will rain ash, okay? But I haven't seen it in so long. And so I was like, it took me about five, minute, five minutes to realize what was going on. I was like, oh, okay, they're burning the um, sugarcane fields. Um, but then the Lord started <laughs> to talk to me in my heart and, um, man, is he so good. Okay. So what that is, is called prescribed burning, right? When they do the fields or a controlled burning. And what happens is, um, they burn the fields so that they can put nutrients back into the soil and it renews the land. It, it replenishes the land, right? The fire breaks down the plants and puts the nutrients back into the soil to help with plant growth. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, wow, okay? Basically improving the health of the field, okay? So if you think about that spiritually, you think about God burning those things out of you, right? To help you grow up in his grace, right? So in order to, and then I was, I actually had to look this up. Um, I, I was like, okay, so how do they contain the fire? Um, in order to main or manage the burning and to contain it, the former uses something called a drip torch. And you have to be very experienced using the drip torch because if not, um, it's very dangerous. And so you have to be an experienced, a boss burner is what they call them. And then I was like, Father, you are our boss burner for real. But um, man, I was like, okay, because, because of what I've been going through, um, 
it's like I had no choice but to just sit down and sit in his presence and let him do his thing. And um, there was no other way. Like all, you know, just the staying up at all hours of the night and I couldn't sleep because I couldn't breathe and I was questioning and I was confused and I was crying and I just, you know, but it was, a. I do believe and I still do believe that I'm going through something to where it's like he is disciplining me spiritually to understand a more in-depth, how, how does Ephesians say it? The length, to know the love of God, to know his grace for the, the length, the depth, the height, right? That's all I can come up with. And so I am on this journey of understanding it in a more greater way and a more broader way. Not that I never had it or any of that, but it's like, it's a more understanding of what I already have, what we already have, right? So, um, about a month ago, I got, um, I ran into this woman and I, I know it was the Lord and she just wrote a book. This was her first book she's ever written and her name is Gretchen, uh, Ronovic. And, um, I was led to buy her book and I don't know about you guys, but I've been so inspired. I just, I'm like reading books. Like I can't stop reading books. I don't know what it is, but it's books of dependence on the Lord. And it's like, Okay, so this book is, I'm going to recommend it to you. It's called Ragged, Spiritual Disciplines for the Spiritually Exhausted. Oh my gosh, I'm just, as I'm reading it, I've already, I'm done reading it. But when I was reading it, I was just nothing, but all in tears, nothing in tears. Just, (laughs) I was so in awe. And then I was like, tears. And then I was like, yes and amen and then I was like this is exactly what I'm going through and then I was like this is the discipline this is the discipline to learn his grace to learn his his love for you for us right okay so this morning I was in actually I was looking in my bible and then I was led to go back to Hebrews 12 and right when I opened it up my eyes fixated on uh, verse 29 for our God is a consuming fire and then I put my pen down I'm like wow light bulb moment boom like that right and I'm like this is gorgeous okay so the fire going back to the fire when it was pouring when it was raining the ash and I knew that the sugarcane fields were being burned it was like he spoke to me about his fire and his burn his his all-consuming burning through us is a good thing okay It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing because it gets rid of, it rids of self. See, the Lord, he loves you so much that any little thing that's hanging in there, any any little idol, any little whatevers, he's going to burn it up. Not in a, not in a bad way. It may not feel good, but it's not in like a, it's not in like a beating way or any of that. It's like a, for our own good, truly, and for his glory, to teach us his grace, to, to guide us into his grace on how big it is and his love for us on how huge it is, the length, the, 
the height, the, the death, right? And um, it really is deep. And so that's all part of growing up in God's grace. And it, and it is a part of discipline. And so I made a video last year about Hebrews 12. And I knew, I made the video because I had a vision of us racing in our race cars. And I knew what God was trying to say. But I didn't understand the whole picture of it. I didn't understand the whole vision of it. And what I should have done was sat back and just meditated on it, right? And um, and I'm, I, I, um, I do have to apologize because in one of my videos I said he will whip your butt. No. He will discipline you because he is such a good father and he will discipline you to to bring you into his grace and his love and his kindness and his goodness. And he's so patient with us, right? So I, <laughs> God is all consuming. He is an all consuming fire, but it's so gorgeous and it's so beautiful. It is who he is. It's if that is who he is. But if he lives in you, he will do it and he will work it into the day of redemption. It is his works, glorification, sanctification, justification, all of it. Okay. Because I know in, in first Thessalonians, it says, um, that I think it's first Thessalonians. Let me go get it. For this is 1 Thessalonians 5, um, starting at verse 23. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. Okay? That means your whole entire being. Right? And I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it okay um so over the course of six months it's been hell for me like when i say that i mean it just didn't stop it was like one thing after the next and you know i thought it was a tax and some of it was but i do believe a lot of it was God allowing it in my life to draw me back to focusing on him and him alone and ridding anything out of me that is self. I'm talking about like um, anything that I'm doing on my own, um, controlling situations or looking to myself for X, Y, and Z, etc. And so the whole thing about living in the Christian life really truly is looking to Jesus every day of your life and praising his name and even thanking him for waking you up this morning, um, and giving you breath as he breathes the breath through you. And it, it truly is a gorgeous state to be in. It really is gorgeous to be a Christian. It is so beautiful and we are so blessed. We are blessed beyond measure. We really, really are. But um, I can say so much more, but um, I didn't want this video to be too long. But my gosh, I'm with Paul. When he says, I pray, I pray on my knees for the church to know the love of God, the love of Christ for you. Um, and I'm going to go read it. Okay, this is in Ephesians chapter 3, starting in verse 14. For this cause I bow my knees 
and to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, the length, the depth, the height, and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge, that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. And I, I don't want to cry, but it's, guys, it, it's really beautiful. Um, to see this, it's one thing to read it. Um, but I know it's another thing to, for God to bring you through, through situations as you get the experience through it, you learn as, well, for me, that's how I learn most of my time is I have to go through it. Um, but I mean, it's nothing like really understanding this and I if I can just say this church I beg of you please please look to Jesus um every day be dependent on the Lord every day rely on Christ every day for everything um And I just, I, for the church to know this, man, I felt Paul's heart there. I really did. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to share this. So I may make another video to further try to explain, but um, I think I'm going to cut it off now. So I love you guys.